boat ramp. Not sure uh, she can make all that. I knew it was going to be blowy in the morning. It's going to be overcast, so I was sort of delaying till about, I don't know, time about 10 o'clock. I think they said about 12, it's all going to come good. So I don't know, I might stick around till then. are in, sound is all down, I don't know, you tell me, um, get this maybe strap off, Big bugger coming in. I like wind. Oh, my wife doesn't either. Jesus. I don't want to go. Und wählen Sehen man An Wind und Wellen That, uh, mate, your latch, your latch is up. Right. Your ball's up. Yes. Oh, you do? It's up here. No, I mean on your, on your toe, toe ball. Oh. It's not locked down. It's jumping around. Right, thank you. <laughs> uh, you can actually lose boats and shit with that. Well, you got chains, but you're all right. Yeah, 
So uh, I'm, in, I'm in a hurry to go out because uh, it's going to be blowing till about 12. Um, oh yeah. Actually, you know, interesting you mentioned that. I've gone back to Burleying. Yes, that's what I'm about to try today. And uh, you wouldn't believe the snapper have been pulling in. So I'm going to just yeah. set myself up off a little pinnacle. Yeah. And Burleying. Um, how are you going to distribute it? What's your technique? Oh, I've got all sorts. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got a big one. Yeah. So I've put all my Burley that's been kicking around in the shed for a year or two. Yeah, righto. In the bucket. Yeah. So I've got a Burley log. <laughs> log. I'm going to put that in the big one. Oh, there? log, right, okay. You're pretty close. Yeah. That's what I wanna. Well, I, you know what you're doing. You, you're going to touch right there. Well, you've done something. You've done. Oh, so I can just go. Hey. Climb out. Oh, you climb out. And then I thought. Yeah. Well, it's been raining and stuff, but. No, that's a lot of that's a lot of rain we had. We probably had an inch the other night. It's still going. I mean, you've had some weight in your boat. <laughs> Jeez, that's a big uh, transducer. What the hell's that? That's a one kilowatt. Oh, you told me you had a big ask. Yeah. Probably pushed her away now. <laughs> Geez, you're still pumping water there. Oh, you know what? No bungs. Um. Right, eh? So what? What? I, what I recommend? You spin your boat around. Oh, mate, I'll just drive it back up. Okay, up to you. Are you sure you don't want a hand today? Like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Okay, step back. Right, good advice. Is the bow uh, in line with that? Yeah. Got it. Turn your motor off. I think I'll park my boat. We'll both go out in yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not out there to... Catch them in and fish. I just wanna... I'm all over that. Yeah. Just a couple of fish, take them home. So, why don't you yes, bring it up? Where's your bung? I'll put it in. Definitely doesn't have a bung in. I can, I, I can guarantee that. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey. The pressure of the amount of water I had in there was gonna push it out. Yeah, that's a bloody. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's a horse, that one. I mean, I, I, yours is short and fat. I've got one long and thin. <laughs> yeah. That's a uh, 56. Yeah. So that's an ultra, ultra UHD. Good down to about 80 metres. Maybe. Yeah. But it gives you the, uh, the 3D. Yeah, I've got a 3D one. It's about that bloody long. Um, but it's not that wide. Oh, jeez, yeah, that's, that looks like more like the one I've got. The, it's a Garmin 3D. I don't I used to play with it. It's good for exploring. Oh, I, I, um, yeah, that's exactly what it's good for. It's good for mining. And then you, you so I switched to side scan and that sort of shit. So that's good down to about 300 Yeah, no, you told me that. That's, uh, yeah, but so with the Burley, I think it's a, it's a waiting game. The, the other thing is, I've switched over to uh, soft plastics a bit more, and I actually did some sort of kept records, you know. Yeah, no. Oh, there, as many fish as yeah, I'll half the fish now I'm catching on soft plastics, and I'm. And I haven't seen that one before. I just and got looks very Japanese. Uh, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Rodney rod holder catches a lot of fish with that in the just. No, that's what I just put the plastics in the rod holder and they catch half the fish for me. Yeah. And, the boat gives them that yeah. But I've got sort of like you've got curly tails and that. But um, I've been reading and seeing on YouTube these boys with their uh, vibes, yeah. plastic tails, yeah. and went and had a look at the pricing. They're like 25 bucks. Yeah. And I reckon I would lose it within a few strikes. They'd chew I the lost, tail off. I lost a uh, hundred bucks worth of, um, in three days. <laughs> and I was catching some big fish. Yeah. Cobia. Yeah. And, uh, snapper. Yeah. But I lost three of them. Yeah. Um, and one Ouch. Big, big I lost three of them to sharks. In, uh, oh yeah. yeah. You got a you got an inquiry here, I think. Um, yeah, I, it just, once the shark hits, I just go nah. Yeah, I, I piss off. Uh, I, I don't hang around because they know. I'm going to move out of this way because... Are you coming out now? Yeah. I'm enjoying this actually. Oh yeah, the, the boat ramp's a good fun to watch. I should have... <laughs> no, I should have... It's dangerous with the fucking ex-special forces. Like, you never know what... <laughs> That's right. Especially when your camera gets taken off and thrown in the uh, water. Oh, I didn't think. Oh, no, it's a bit cruel. No, I've done it. We've all done it. We've all done it. Yeah, the good thing is you've figured it out, I think because I was whinging about how much water was pumping out, and you well, figured yeah. it out. Well, I went, that's not right. Yeah. I was losing, like I said, I was yeah. losing water from here to Maud Street. Yeah. And then it was still going, I'm thinking... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. All right. I'm just going to hover out here. We'll pick you up... Uh, Actually, I might start making my way out. You'll go probably twice my speed. Yeah. Um, you'll probably overtake me. I'll see you out there. 72. Winds dropping down. It was oh, still blowing. Probably blowing ten. Let's see how we go. Tell was that we'd have calm weather till sundown today. Uh, winds north and northwesterly, 10 to 15 knots, reaching up to 25 knots offshore early in the morning. Correct. Winds, winds turning southwesterly early in the morning, then becoming variable about 10 knots in the early afternoon. And then uh, they come out to the strong wind warning 
for tomorrow. So All right. uh, that's going to go 15 to 25 to 30 knots. Right, I think I'm covered, today, but so. I am going to watch that closely and monitor your station for the weather yeah, updates. Just, just, just keep an eye on the wind, that's all. Good advice. I appreciate your service that you, ha you offer. Thank you very much. No worries, mate. You're <laughs> okay. on the log. Don't forget to call us when you come home. Cheers. Bye. Thanks. Westerlies. Westerlies. Looks rougher, but the going's better because I'm going with the weather. Dry boat, this one. Shrimp, you bugger. I think he's legal too. Not by a lot. I'm calling this the pearly spot. Too legally. In about two minutes. Well, I wonder how many are down there. Three bloody kraken fish. Uh, three, oh, a bit more than three minutes, but and then old bloody day, nothing. Well, you tell me what's going on. Oh, that's a good fish. Um, well, that's fish for the week. That's six. What's going on here? Somehow. They're following me. I don't like them. Go away. Go away. Go away. There's three of them. Shoot up for. Who chews you up? 
Beach up. Line across there. And cod. Listen, that has to be a fucking big thing. It's not shark. Big enough to grab the whole thing in his mouth. I'll put him out of bait. What do you reckon? Well, you're taking that down. I saw a fish I want to keep. Poor bugger. Poor bugger. He's beat up. I think I beat the shark. That's not a shark, it's a really big cod. Fucking huge cod. Huge cod. See colour. Don't see colour. There's colour. Big colour. Big colour. Oh, it's not a snapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful snapper. Oh, the nearings just get. Better and better. It's better every trip. It's just better. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to miss it when I miss it. I'm going to miss it. It's uh, really something. It's really, really. soon. That's a pull on the pin. Nearly 10 to 6. Ten to 6. Another great day. Got about five fish. This is more than I can eat for the week. And uh, the big bloody tail line, that was a good size snapper, not huge, like, of course, well, back in the day, like last week, back in the day, big tails, but still, good strong fight. It just turned out glorious. I'd better get yarn, actually. I'm not even sure, old buddy. I might just put the rods on the back of the boat and. Go. But I do want water. Um, I don't know, is he going to bleed out or what's he going to do? Um, I might start putting the rods away. Who didn't do anything good? This rod. Not too 
It's all right kind of day for him, isn't it? You know, get him in with all the big ass animals on his ass will get him. Um, oh, say, over 40. Coming a bit easy. I'd say it's legal. Um, oh, well, you know, not the biggest bloody haul, but one-handed, middle of the day shit. Well, towards the end of the day now. What do we got about uh, 40? Okay, you can put it on YouTube. Just and 40. You can film and it. that's plus 40. And that's one, two, three, plus oh, 40. That's 40. And this guy, he's, well, he's one, two, three, four, 45 or so. Now, that one fought. This guy, one, two, three, four, pushing 60. He would have been 60, except his tail got chewed off, and there's a mark here. Oh, he got crunched, coming up by something. Poor thing. This guy here, one, two, three, four, five, 60. Oh, he's pushing. One, one, two, three, four, five, 60, 60 plus. So that's good fish. So you want to say something, Addy? I'll tell you about. I'll tell the camera about it. Okay. Yeah, that's the camera. Okay. do that but I can catch them every single month. Every single month is fine if you always want to catch them every single month. And if you want and if you pick up a really big fish yes. Thank you for that. So I'm going to give um, those snapper to your dad and he can eat those tonight. And I'll keep the pearlies for myself and my wife. All right, so that's the story. Um, hard work, 
hard work day, but still perseverance pays off. I think that's the title of the film. Perseverance pays off at the nearings. Right, so that's... Can you put your finger inside his mouth? Oh! Why? So here we are, a 60 plus centimetre snapper from the nearings. That was a good fight on the 20. And I'll do a little review of the reel. But that's a nice, a nice fish. A nice fish from the nearings. Nice, nice fish from the nearings reef. 60 centimetre snapper. Thank you very much, nearings reef. This is the meal. And we have ginger, shallots, chilli, lemon. No lemon. Oh, I haven't added the lemon. And we'll okay. add uh, soy sauce, fish sauce. Garlic. Garlic. And this is from uh, a recipe from um, the YouTube. North Queensland barramundi guys like to catch barramundi and spice it up. So we'll see if Pearl Perch agrees with the recipe. Was it good? Oh, very good.